All right, so here's a quick review for our quiz on one-step equations. Looking at number one, we have 28 equals k plus 22. In order to isolate k, we need to get rid of positive 22, so we're going to subtract 22 from both sides. On the right, these 22s cancel each other out, leaving us with k. And on the left, 28 minus 22 is 6. Looking at number 2, we have a minus 18.8 .8 equals negative 21.5. In order to isolate a, we need to get rid of this negative 18.8. .8, so we're going to add 18.8 .8 to both sides. On the left, these cancel out, leaving us with a. And on the right, we have a negative 21.5 and a positive 18.8. .8. Different sign, subtract and keep the sign of the bigger number, so our answer is negative 2.7. For number 3, we have n minus 4 thirds equals 83 over 21. To isolate n, we need to get rid of this negative 4 thirds, so we're going to add 4 thirds to both sides. On the left, the fractions cancel out, leaving us with n. And on the right, in order to add or subtract fractions, we need common denominators. So the least common denominator here is going to be 21. This is already 83 over 21. And 4 thirds is going to become 28 over 21. They're both positive, so we add them together, and that gives us 111 over 21. Now, 111 over 21 can be simplified because both of these numbers can be divided by 3. So that leaves us with the answer 37 over 7. And your answers must be in simplest form. Now we can leave this like this or we can convert this to a mixed number. 7 goes into 37 5 times. And 37 minus 35 is 2. So we end up with 5 and 2 sevenths. For number 4, we have 161 equals negative 7n. In order to get n alone, we need to get rid of this negative 7, and it is multiplying n. So the way we undo multiplication is by division. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 7. Remember, when undoing multiplication or division, you must keep the sign when you undo. So on the right, the negative 7s cancel each other out leaving us with n, and on the left, 161 divided by negative 7 is negative 23. For number 5, we have 5 thirds a equals negative 10, so we have to undo multiplication by a fraction, and remember the way we do that is we're going to flip and multiply. So we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by 3 fifths. On the left, these cancel out, leaving us with a. And on the right, we can cross-simplify here. 10 and 5 can be divided by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. So we end up with negative 2 times 3, and that is negative 6. Final question, we have r over 2.6 equals 6.8. In order to get r alone, we need to get rid of this 2.6. r is being divided by 2.6, so the way that we are going to undo that is we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by 2.6. On the left, these cancel out, leaving us with r, and on the right, 6.8 times 2.6 is 17.68. All right, I hope that this helps you to prepare for your quiz.